Hello, my friends. Good, well, good evening from here. Okay, now the notice went out. I can see some people watching. Hi, guys. My name is Angela. I'm the owner and creative uh, energy from Elfen und Helden. I'm an elite retailer for Dixiewell over here in Frankfurt in Germany. I also am the German distribution for Dixiewell for the German retailer. So I'm not only standing um, for myself here, I'm basically on behalf of all the talented um, artists and retailers over here in Germany. Welcome, welcome. When you join me, just let me know where you're watching from. Hi, Miri and say hi to me hi dixie bell thank you for having me and if you have any questions guys put them in the comments i will try to answer those straight away i'm blind as a bat uh, but i'm going to bring you a little closer in a, in a minute hi my nose so um if you watch replay please uh, put hashtag replay into the comments and uh, so that i know that you've been there hi becky schön dass du da bist so there's some of my german followers oh hi amy thank you for joining me um hi nina guys Great, you're all there. So, um, cheers, coffee. It is uh, 9 p.m. over here, but um, when I do my lives, I always, I always have to drink my coffee. I don't know, this this is just a habit. So, <laughs> I'm not drinking coffee the whole day. This this is during my lives. So, last week we started. I I want to make um um, what's it called? Like one of those um coat hanger things I need a little bit more room so we basically just prepared a pretty plain um, wooden pine board which is this one and um, this piece is gonna go I'm gonna get um, this piece is gonna go on there and we're going to um, we're also going to oops, uh, a little further down to put a transfer on there and we're going to work with the transfer um, Tropical Leaves by Dixieville. So, I need another hand. Where's my third, fourth, and fifth hand? I'm going to put that to the side. So this is going to be screwed on there later when everything is finished. And um, the colors we've used on there, as you can see, the Tropical Leaves is pretty colorful. And uh, we have on here, we have Amethyst, which is a bright purple. We do have uh, Pure Ocean. I was in between Pure Ocean and um, and um, Florida Orange, so I stayed with the Pure Ocean. And we have Kudzu for the green, and we have Daisy for the yellow in the middle. So that's the colors we've used. Uh, so that's just that you can have like a recap. And if you missed the live, this is on the Dixie Bells page um, where, we see, where we started it last week. I'm just going to show you that board from the back. This was just like a, a plain, simple um, pine board. And what I've done to that board, I've uh, cleaned it nicely as every project. I cleaned it nicely with white lightning and I've bossed it, you know, because I wasn't sure which colors I'm going to use. And pine, especially when you look at the back there, there's like those, those um, knots and stuff like that. And uh, those things are about to bleed. So that's the reason I've bossed it. And then we've done a little bit of fun blending on there. A little bit of cloudy blending. We've used the um, best thing brush for it also. And let's see. Oh, oh hi, Jenna. Hi to Oklahoma. Hi, Tammy. Kuwait. Oh, my goodness. That's a long way. Thank you for joining me. So, Catherine, great guys, that you're all there. So, if you haven't done it yet, guys, pop over to my page, leave me a like there, that'll be absolutely fantastic. I do quite a few lives in English and also some in uh, in German. So, um, as I said, we want to do the tropical leaves. I asked you which transfer you would like to see, and basically, most of you um, choose the tropical leaves which is very colorful and basically all the colors are coming there so take that out the um this is a transfer from the bells and whistles line by dixie bell and this is the creative line from them they do stencil silk screen stencils they do decoupage papers and they do transfers and their transfers are basically um especially formulated for their hi Jill 
formulated for their hyaline, formulated for their chalk mineral paints, you know. So the good thing is that you don't have to seal to seal them. This is from from transfer company to transfer company different. So when you use a transfer, first you make sure what the recommendations by that company is. But with those, you don't need to seal or do anything to your paint. You can basically put it straight on there and it comes off so easy. I can tell you that I've worked with quite a few transfers and that comes off very easy. So the transfers come with a description and they also come with this uh, little wooden stick. This is like for transferring it um, um, over to your project and this um, this tropical leaf transfer has got loads of sheets. This is one of the, the big ones. So you have um, a solid um, tropical leaf theme on a bigger sheet and you have a solid one on a smaller sheet. So those are perfect, whatever, if you put it on the door or if you put it on the side of the drawers or something like that. I'm not going to use those. I only want to use some parts. So I'll put that straight away back into the tube, everything I don't need. Um, and then they have like um, several bigger pieces and several smaller pieces. Um, loads of loads of things you can layer and basically play with. So that's what we're going to do tonight. We're going to play around a little bit with those, and you can see all the colors I've got on that board are basically in the in the transfer itself also. So the transfer comes. The transfer comes. The white, the white you see is like a protective sheet. Is the backing is a protective sheet. And the transfer itself is on that clear sheet, on the back of that clear sheet. And it's it's sticky on the back, so don't touch it. Um, leave the protective sheet on there until you know where you want to put your transfer. You know, even when you cut it, leave it on there and cut it and then just take it off. That makes your life a lot easier. It does, believe me. So, let's think. I think I'm going to put my, I think I want to use this, um, this bigger piece on basically going on top of that, uh, of the, the hanging piece, which I'm going to screw on later, but uh, that's basically where I want to, where I want to have that. I'm going to bring you closer guys now. Uh, you don't need to see me. That's not that interesting. You're going to see what I'm going to do. So, Courtney, link for the transfers. Dixieville, can you please put, uh, thank you, you already done it. That's great. Okay, guys, if you want to shop the products, pop over to the Dixieville page and uh, check for your local retailer. They are all over the world by now. So, um, basically, wherever you are, you can get those from your local retailer also. So, let's see. Let's see what we do. So I want to have, I don't want to have this piece um, in the middle of the board. I'm going to have it a little further down and in this direction. Yeah. So, and this is going to go somewhere up there. I'm going to eyeball. I could uh, measure it. <laughs> Just, you know me, I'm always eyeballing. I am eyeballing and that's what I usually do because I want to have more of the, the, um, those uh, transfer pieces on the top. Um, so basically when you look up onto your coat hangers and stuff like that, that you, this is like a picture over, you know, um, on top there. That's the plan. What do you think of that plan? Oh, uh, <laughs> somebody, I'm too old for that, Sophia, I'm sorry, oops, uh, wrong, 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 I'm too old for that, lock user, and delete comment, sorry guys, so, um, okay, so, I'm sorry guys, 
Yeah, there's a troll run, running around here. Um, no, it's not under, it's on top. Um, this is basically, this is basically this way. So the things are going to hang on the bottom here. And this is uh, for hats or something like that. So if I put it this way and I'm going to have the transfer on top, you can see that on top. You know, this is the top of the board. And this is basically the bottom and the coats and stuff like that are going to hang this way. So, but thanks Michelle for thinking with me. Michelle is one of my, <laughs> it's one of my longest followers. And <laughs> it was very interesting, wasn't it? So this is my old age. Um, and she knows I'm the master of disaster. So it's sometimes good that sometimes uh, somebody is just like uh, making me think. But I'm on the wrong, uh, on the right way here. <laughs> on, the wrong, on the right way here. So I'm going to cut this little piece off because I don't want to have this on there. So make sure. Um, um, yeah, but I see you should see it in the right direction. So if you look up, you know, you're looking up at it. So um, that's basically the idea. So I've placed my scissors. Here they are. So keep a, a pair of uh, sharp scissors. And then you can basically cut off what you want to have and what you, what you don't want to have. And you cut this off first. You could also cut this apart if you want to, but I like, really like this piece. Hi Nina, thank you for joining. So, mm. just think again. Is this pretty much center, guys? This is pretty much center, I think. So my sweetheart is probably thinking, why isn't she getting the ruler out? I never do that, you know me, I never do that. And if it's not perfect, this is can this can be I will cover it up somehow, some different way. So now when you pretty much know where you're going to put it, um, remember when you've put it down, it is sticky. So you have to commit then. If it's down, it's down. I want to have it just about there. So I'm just going, I like to do start from the middle here and then just like get it slightly on here. There, I want to have it. So I'll take this off so I can uh, move around there a little better. So now I'm getting my wooden stick. This is just like this piece. You can take a credit card or you can take, you could even take um, a plastic uh, spatula or something like that. So that's, that all works pretty fine. So let's see that you can see get you a little, a little closer. Try not to drop you guys. I'm sorry. I'm very good at um, at dropping everybody. So <laughs> it's fine. Okay. Um, when you um, release the transfer from your backing. Oh, hi, Sen. Thank you for joining me. You either start on one side and you go to the other side, from the bottom to the top, or from the middle to the outside. What you shouldn't do is start on one side do a little bit and start from the other side and do a little bit because when the transfer releases from the backing, there is almost like an air bubble um, moving uh, with it. And it might happen, um, might happen that there's like, a, like a, that it folds up a little bit in the middle. So if you want to have the, the rustic look or something like that, that's no problem. But uh, if you want to avoid that, don't do that. So, oh, thank you, Courtney. That's sweet. Mm. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. So, uh, okay. So I'm going to start in the middle and move to the outside today. So 
So they can, you can hear this little um, crackling. This is basically when the transfer releases from the backing. And you can lift up the end. And this is also, this is a very, I didn't seal that board or I didn't send it down or anything. This is a very plain um, pine board. So this is pretty rough anyway. And the chalk mineral paints is on there and the chalk mineral paints by Dixie Bell, they are open pores. So um, this is normally a complete nightmare for a transfer to release onto, but you can already see how easy that is basically releasing. So what I like to do then when I have one end and I rub on the back and I lift gently the um, that plastic backing and check if the transfer has released. Oops. So gently move slowly. If you have discovered like here, you can see there the transfer hasn't released yet. You just basically put it back down, rub a little more and then you go, you're good to go. So even when you ripped up that transfer a little bit, if you haven't been gentle enough, just place it back down and you're good to go. So, more there, more there. Who has worked with transfers? Who has worked with the bells and whistles transfers? Which one do you like uh, most? Oh, hi, Wilfried. Bonsoir. Please from France. Thank you for joining me. Keep it lifting. Place it back down. And there you go. Release is pretty easy. It is a little work. I'm not lying. It is a little work, obviously. Got to rub it off and just just take this. Um, it's not very steady, <laughs> as you can see. So, but if you have a chance, also when you put it on your um, furniture, something like that. If you have a chance to lay it down, you can put uh, more pressure onto it. So it makes life a lot easier also. Mm. Jill, you have all the transfers. That's great. Jill is a, is a retailer for Dixieville in Jersey. So um, I don't know if people are watching from there. She would be your local retailer in Jersey. So. Lee. Gotta get another table, guys. You're probably getting seasick watching that table, aren't you? <laughs> mm, so. Almost done. The first piece on here, the bigger piece. I will work my way around it and see how much I'm going to put on here. So. All gone. Nothing on here. So now I'm going to go, you can do that with your fingers, making sure that all the edges are down. I like to do that with the backing was just on. Hi, Diane. No, Michelle, not in New Jersey. It's the island Jersey, which is, um, which belongs to the UK. It's, uh, it's uh, pretty close to France. So this is over here in, uh, in Europe, basically, overseas. So I like to take the backing and I'm just like rubbing over the 
transfer. As I said, you can use your fingers. A lot of people use their fingers. I I avoid that because um, if I have cream or anything on my fingers, I don't want to rub it onto the um, onto the transfer or something because I might uh, paint want to paint over it or. Just going to go around it. Down. So one of the nicest things about the transfers by the bells and whistles is that they um, hardly have any halos. So when you rub those a little down with the with that um, sheet or your fingers, they are almost gone. I'm going to bring that close up to you in a second so you can see that. So, is that done? And I'm going to come back also with my, this is basically the status quo where we are now. So if I bring that very close, you can hardly see, it's just like a tiny little bit of halos. But uh, I know transfers where you have big halos around. You can hardly. Oh, hi, Sully. Thank you for joining. Hope you feel better soon, sweetie. So I'm going to use also my one of the finishing pads by um, by Dixieville. This is like a, like a foamy finishing pad. You can um, um, you can um, buff your paint with it and stuff like that. And I'm going gently around my transfer also especially around the edges again you know I want to make sure that all the edges are nicely on the board and nothing is going to lift up I'm going in a circular motion and this is now basically erasing the last bits of the halos, if there are still some to see. How pretty is this transfer? This is absolutely gorgeous. So, that's it. I think I'm just going to build a little bit around there, going a little bit more to the outside. Let's see. Am I going to use, I'm going to use this bit here also. This is one of those paradise flowers. So thank you, Courtney. Thank you, Jenna. Yes, Nina, that's correct. I think I wanna have this in here. So I want to have this, do I want to have this there? Yeah, I want to have this there. I want to have another one of those uh, flowers there. So you can layer those. You can put those on top of the others. That works, that works fine. Same thing, put it down. I start rubbing. I lift one end, makes my life easier. And I lift it gently up while rubbing it down and remember this board is very textured and very rough I didn't bother to sand it down so nicely released could you tell that it doesn't belong there so Sully, that's sweet. So again, just um, rubbing it a little bit with that uh, piece. I'm gonna come in with my finishing pad. Make sure that all the edges are down. And then I'm going to think about the next piece. So you can see how easy you can layer those. You know, they're especially made that um, you can't really notice. I'm gonna show you. I'm going to show you this is basically there 
is the end of that piece and you couldn't tell that uh, this doesn't belong there so you can build you can build your own you can build your own um transfer basically with that so let's see which which ones are we going to use which ones are we going to use Decisions, decisions, guys. Decisions, decisions. This piece is too big. I don't want to have such a big piece there. I might Let me think. Let me think. I want to have some more of those paradise flowers. As I do really do like those. I really do like those. going to have this one and I may have let me think one of those a little more green maybe I'll think about it I just cut it out and hold it next to it and I see if I like it there or not eventually I'm going to use some of those so Sink. Having this one here and a little plain one. And having this one there. Yeah, I think I'm going to have this one there on that side as it's going a little darker there. And I'm going to have this one. Let's see. Let's see. So careful when you take the, the backing off that you don't touch the back as it is uh, sticky. So this is like a puzzle. Um, Becky, uh, Becky C spray. Das ist dann vielleicht ein bisschen zu, uh, zu viel Textur. The question was just if you can put it over C spray. Um, you can get it'll release on there but if you have it like really textured um then you really get like the the cracked up um the cracked up uh look so to say so where do i want to have this 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 do i want to have this here I'm going to have this right there, right going out to the side there, or more up there. What do you think? What do you think? I think I'm having it there. I'm going to lay it right on top there. And, hmm. Sometimes not that easy. Now I'm going to have it here. I'm putting it right there. That's it. Put it down. Commit. Start rubbing. There's some areas where it might... Um, you can also touch those up with paint, you know. If, um, same thing. I'm rubbing an end. Start rubbing and releasing the bits here I don't even notice that's good so this is just lifting up a little so I'm putting it back down making sure I rub it and release it while lifting that's it Another piece on there. So. Let's wrap that on there. So again, this just looks like it's coming out from underneath the um, get my finishing pad and rub the edges again. 
to varnish them right into that uh, project and to release those or get rid of those halos. And then you've sealed it. I'm going to use some either satin or flat. I'll think about it. I haven't decided yet. So I'm just going to bring that up again. So the, I've I've placed that. If you see that there, this is this basically looks like it's just coming out of underneath that. Um, underneath that one flower. So, and I'm, I think, putting this one over here. Over here or over there? I think I'm going to put it like this. Going a little further up with those light colors into that um, aubergine. Same thing, start rubbing it on. Lift one end. So you can make those colors pop. Oh, I don't, oh God, I've got, I think I've got to read the comments later. I'm completely lost there. You have your own conversations. <laughs> so lifting, layering. And I'm going to have another one of those paradise flowers on there also. Layer over there. So basically you can build your own transfers with that, you know? So nobody, nobody else is going to have it layered like you, like you do. And this is the lovely thing about it. And you can layer those onto glass. You can layer those onto, onto wood. That's perfectly fine. You can layer those straight onto wood also. We've done that on the drawers of the back of that, um, that piece standing behind there. So I can see one of our Dutch re Dixie Bell retailers on Instagram also. So as I said, Dixie Bell is all over the world by now. Very talented guy also. So welcome Dennis. There we go. Rub it down. As I said, you can use your fingers. I just like to use the, the back. It just came off. Go around the edges. And then I'm going to grab my um, finishing pad. And just varnish it right into those pieces. And whoever has worked with um, whoever has worked with transfers knows how tricky this is. There is especially when you have like um, a pretty rough um, surface underneath. I think this is going to look very pretty. So there you go. So you can make out of one smaller piece a bigger one. Instagram, you didn't just see that. I'm sorry. Instagram is just like in um, um, portrait mode. So it's sometimes not that easy to have those guys catch it properly. So let me think. I want to have, I want to have, I think one or two of the, I'm going to grab this one. 
one of those paradise flowers. What are they called in English? Oh, I'm keep calling them paradise flowers. Oh, hi, Rima. Thank you. Um, I've translated it basically straight from, from German. They're called paradise flowers in German. So, um, those. And a May. May have. Uh, one of those leaves. Also, let's see. See? So this, I mean, there's so much stuff on this, um, on this um, transfer. So there's loads of uh, things you can do. So I want to have those two coming in there. Layer those on top. One here. So if you've cut them, um, cut it out, and you feel that the edges <clears throat> are too close to the paint uh, when you're rubbing and you're uh, worried that you're going to damage the paint around, just grab one of those pieces you've just released uh, your transfer and use this on top as a double protection, basically. So you can nicely rub it until you have that area basically coming off and then you can um, lift it back and carry on like this. So, here we go, Not that on, I'm going to put those down now and then I'm going to come in with my finishing pad, this layered on there also, and that leaf going around. So I'm going to have this here. Lifting it up. Bam. This is so quick. This is so quick. And now I'm going to put this leaf on here as a last bit. Just gonna go, just gonna go right there. When you lift it up and it doesn't come off the sheet, just put it back down, rub a little more, and there you go. Sorry for the squeaky table, guys. Sorry. Bam. Down. Down, down. Rub the edges a little more down with your protective sheet or use your fingers, whatever. Comfortable for you. And then the final bit I'm just going to do with the finishing pad by Dixieville. This is basically making sure that all the edges are nicely down on the project. So, and you can, you know, continue that puzzle until you are satisfied with your layering and um, the way it's gone. There you go, four minutes. Here we are now. 
made our own picture basically and then when this is on here we basically have let's see if i can hold it up like this you see that there you can see so that's basically what it's going to be then at the end so tomorrow we're going to put some uh, woody bands on there but uh, not tonight so but that, that's the idea of the whole um, the whole thing back to the side i hope you like that transfer i do i do i think that's pretty gorgeous so i'm just going to bring you a little up to see me again Mm. Mm. Aline, where are you from? Where are you watching from? Saying you're seeing currents is you know you're not familiar 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 love with sorry. I'm German after all. Some birds um are pretty much tongue breakers for for me. Thank you, Nina. Thank you, Dixie Bell. Thank you, Emily. Is it Emily there? Oh, hi, Kerstin. Thank you for joining. So, thank you, Tammy. Yes, Nina, they are very good quality. I can tell you that. Uh, Birds of Paradise in Australia. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's what they basically look like. Birds of Paradise. That's a paradise. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. I've learned something again. Thank you so much. Uh, mm. Okay, Aline, let's see. Where are you coming from? From the US. Okay, then pop over to the Dixie Bell page. Dixie Bell, put, put your link to, to the Dixie Bell page. And um, there you should be able to, I think I might have put the, the link to the European page in there. I'm sorry, guys. So, um, but Dixie Bell can put the, the link to the US page uh, on there so you can find everything there. You can also find your local retailer there. You can find your local retailer all over the world on the Dixie Bell page. Guys, thank you so much for joining me. And um, um, yes, Nina, tomorrow I'll be on the Woodyband page and um, I think this is perfect for adding a little bit more Woodyband onto the edges just to cover up that it's, this used to be a plain uh, wooden board. Okay. Thank you, my friends. Thank you so much. So thank you so much for joining me. For those who don't know me, my name is Angela. I am the owner of Creative Energy from... Elfen und Helden, I'm a delight retailer for Dixiebel over here in Frankfurt in Germany, in Europe. So um, basically it is almost 10 p.m. over here now. Um, wherever you've been watching from, I'm very grateful. And uh, if you want to follow me, pop over to my page. I highly appreciate that. Um, and if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me. Uh, I'll be right here to help you out also. Guys, thank you so much for joining me. You take care. You have a lovely day, afternoon, evening, wherever you're watching from. And I'll see you next Tuesday. Till then, ta-da, take care. Bye-bye. Thank you, Dixie Bell, for having me.